Uh, we talk this time of year uh, about advancing. And I know everybody uses the term survive and advance. And I always say uh, in any postseason run, uh, you have to find a way to win. And it may end up being from defense, and it may be from player you didn't expect. I thought Teresa was big for us tonight. Uh, her and I talked this week about her goals in the future for her, what my view of her uh, here at Wyoming. She knew she was going to get into the game tonight, and I thought she brought an energy to us, a toughness. And uh, when they went small, I had a faith to stay with Teresa, and we went to her, and she delivered. And I thought that was really big. And then I just uh, I talked all along about what's made this team magical is the senior leadership and the talented freshmen. And for a large stretch of that second half, we had three freshmen on the court, and they delivered. And uh, they play with so much confidence. Uh, Carla Arovitz does not want to quit playing. Uh, you could see her kind of take over, and we knew at the end uh, we were going to go pick and roll with her and let a freshman make the decisions, whatever was best. And she sure did. And then at the end, we had fouls to give. We took time off the clock, so now it was down to three seconds. And we knew that uh, we had to make somebody else try to beat us. And so we ended up switching every screen uh, to make sure that uh, we had somebody with a hand up on everyone. And uh, I always tell people, sometimes the ball bounces your way. Tonight it bounced our way because it hung on the rim. It seemed a long time to me before it bounced off. A team win, Joe, is, I mean, as much as any game this year where everybody contributed and you did it down the stretch with one of your senior stars, Marta, not on the floor. Yeah, uh, you know, we talked about team. And it's never about uh, what's happening for any one individual. It always happens about for what's best for Wyoming. And tonight, I thought Slajana gave us a big lift. And uh, you take a look at the rebounds she had. She had eight rebounds, none bigger than the one offensive rebound she grabbed. She's two for three from the floor, played really well. And uh, Slajana was playing well. And so we were going with Slajana down the stretch. Now, we got to be better than one for four in the last 40 seconds from the free throw line. We could have made this thing a lot easier on us than what it was. But I really thought that the atmosphere which was electric tonight. I can't say enough about the Wyoming fans. The students came out, everybody was up, and I think the emotion of the game right, got a little big for Marta and Bailey early, and trying to get them calmed down and just to relax. And sometimes that's what's best about freshmen. They're just having fun. Uh, they're not used to how big maybe the moment is, and uh, we played well as Wyoming. I feel like you have that you know, we take a look at things and, and we knew that they were going to end up taking our threes away. And so when that ends up happening and teams switch it, uh, they were switching everything on the perimeter. And that does not allow for three-point shots. But what it does allow for a lot of basket cuts, a lot of ball, dribble, drive to the basket, and we were able to take advantage of that. And I thought Taylor Russ took advantage of it as well as anybody. She even went down and posted up a couple of times and we got her to basketball. So when you take a look at the game, the way it plays out, we're not high assist tonight, we're not a large number of threes tonight, but we have 40 points in the paint and we still come away shooting 46%. What I take a look at is that we were 8 of 15 from the free throw line. And sometimes the free throw line will tell you exactly where your focus is. And it isn't that they were ready to play. I think the two seniors in Bailey, and Marta wanted it too badly. And they were just really clutching to it and trying to will it instead of just letting the game come to them. Joe, when you put things together, you guys are really relying on the three a lot. Now you've had two games in a row where teams have taken it away. How good is it for you to see your players adjust so easily to go back? Tracy, it really is. Uh, you know, we talk about how we have to run our offense differently, the cuts we have to make, and where you have to look to take the basketball. And so to be able to see that number tonight, 40 points in the paint, really tells me we adjusted to what was happening. And uh, when I looked early, we missed several lay-ins early. And I think once again, uh, the hype of the game, uh, as we talked, this is the third round.
postseason. The games get bigger. No team gets easy. Pepperdine, their two games, they came back and won. Uh, they play extremely well. Give them credit. And so once again, it was just a great ball game. And as it keeps advancing, uh, the energy level needs to be there. The focus and composure needs to be there. And as I always tell them, just have some fun with what you're doing. success because everybody can step up. We talk a great deal about making the next pass. There's a motto we have, there's a good shot, there's a better shot, there's the best shot. And so what ends up happening is everybody has faith in each other. Now I know as a coach that experience of those seniors is very important and you still walk. I had Bailey back in there at the end to run that pick and roll. But Carla has played so well this year. I know she's a freshman in standing, but we're right now, I've played 33 games. She's probably playing 30 minutes a night. Uh, she's a tremendous competitor. I really take a look at Carla out there, and she's asking the crowd to stand and cheer. And all of a sudden, uh, the thought of freshmen never exists. It's just Wyoming players. And to our seniors' credit, they're there pulling for those young players also because they know it is about a 